So the athletes on track as the lights go down in Doha. It's time for the women's 4x400 four meters relay final. In lane nine, Canada. Let's meet the teams Brown, in first of all. Steven Canada Price, in lane nine. Watson. Alicia Brown will lead them off. Aliana, Bridget, Steven, Madeline Price, and in Sage eight, Watson. Ukraine going eight, Katerina Klimyuk, Olha Lyakova, Tatiana Melnik and Anna Ryshkova make up their quartet. In lane seven, welcome the defending what about this for a lineup? Phyllis Francis, Sydney McLaughlin, Dalila Mohammed and Wadeline Jonathas, the United States. What a powerhouse quartet. In lane six, Poland. Poland, Iga Bamgart Vitan, Pratisha Vyshiskiewicz, Marko Zasa, Holiv Kowalik, and Justyna Sviety Isetic. The European indoor champions this year. Great Britain and Northern Ireland, led off by Zoe Clark, to Jody Williams, to Emily Diamond, to Lavia Nielsen. Jamaica going four, Anastasia Leroy, Tiffany James, Stephanie Ann McPherson, and Sharika Jackson. Lane three, Netherlands. The Netherlands are unchanged from their heat. Lika Klava, Lizana De Witt, Bianca Bach, and Femke Boll. And, in lane two, and finally, Belgium. also naming the same quartet as the heat, Belgium, Belgium with Hannah Kles, Imke Vervet, Paulian Kakut, and Camille Loos. Belgium, we are all set for the, the eighth and final, final team to be introduced the here. Track and field program of the foam flashlights scattered around the stands. And what a treat to get another opportunity to see the likes of Dilila Mohammed, Sydney McLaughlin. Can anybody stop the United States? Runners two, three, and four wait in the wings. Remember, the US team changes means no Alison Felix, who ran a terrific leg in the heat. Would get a medal, though, to add to her collection. Courtney Okolo is the fastest split in the heat, doesn't get a place in the final. So. So the first leg, of course, run completely in lanes. Phyllis Francis, who set a lifetime best, of course, in the 400 metres when she finished in fifth place, 49.61, only good enough for fifth in a World Championship final. And unsurprisingly, Francis has gone tearing out through the first 200, already through on the inside of Klimuk on the first leg for Ukraine. Also going well, Great Britain, Zoe Clark has run well through the first 300. Baumgart Vitan for Poland, right on the outside, Ukraine with Klimyuk as well as the stagger will unwind, but it's Phyllis Francis for the USA. Poland in pursuit in the shape of Baumgart Vitan. Jamaica just coming through on the inside of Great Britain as well with Anastasia Leroy. As Phyllis Francis hands on for the second leg to Sydney McLaughlin. Well, it was a fantastic start for the United States, but she just got reeled in there, didn't she, Phyllis Francis, by the Polish quartet. So strong, of course, in this women's 4x400 metres. So as they break down the back straight, it's United States of America and Sinley McLaughlin. Poland in second. We've got Jody Williams there, the 200 metre specialist for Great Britain, in third position, followed by Jamaican squad. That's Tiffany James. Well, United States, as expected, are extending that lead now. 
Cindy McLaughlin already a silver medalist in that 400 meter hurdles. And the Polish squad is feeling really, really strong. Jodie Williams for Great Britain is coming wide into lane two as we hand over into the third leg. Well, the four teams you'd expect to be in contention for the medals are. It's US from Poland as the baton is taken on by Delilah Mohammed running her first relay leg since 2010. And she's gone absolutely tearing out. Poland with Margolzarata Holub Kowalik. On her tail, Emily Diamond of Great Britain. And five metres back to Stephanie Ann McPherson. In fourth position for Jamaica. The chasing group headed by Canada from the Netherlands and then come Ukraine. That's the battle you're looking at for the silver medal position. But Delilah Mohamed is 30 metres clear or so. She'll be handing the baton on to Adeline Jonathas. Jamaica are closing on Great Britain in that third position. A fine third leg from Stephanie Ann McPherson. And Jamaica just coming past Great Britain and threatening Poland as well. The baton is in the hand of Adeline Jonathas who finished fourth in the individual in that amazing 400 metres, but it's all on for the medals behind. Poland, Justina Sviti Esetic, Lavia Nilsson, the European number one this year for Great Britain, and Sharika Jackson, who already has a 4 by 100 metres gold medal, took the bronze in the 400 metres individually. Down the back they go. Is there anyone to catch Jonathas, who looks comfortable and calm and collected out front? The US have won five out of six of the last four by fours, they're on their way. But it really is all on for the battle in behind. Jamaica from Poland, Lavia Nielsen of Great Britain coming round the outside here. The silver and bronze are between those three. It's going to be the USA who take the gold as Jonathas pulls away. Keep an eye on the clock, it's going to be fast. It's 3.19.52, up comes Sviti Asedic. Silver for Poland, and in the end, Jamaica with Jackson have to settle for the bronze. Great Britain and Northern Ireland run out of it. 3.18.92, the winning time for the United States. They were huge favourites coming into it. Poland reversed the placings from London 2017 when they finished in third position. They upgrade to silver this time. Jamaica take the bronze, and Great Britain and Northern Ireland just miss out. Well, Chris, that was such an exciting race to watch, wasn't it? We did favour the United States team. The women that they brought into this final, they ran amazingly well in qualifying, but to bring four new athletes of that calibre into the final, absolutely amazing to watch. Phyllis Francis there, she ran a great first leg. She got them off to a really good start, didn't she? But so much happened in that race. I think it was really down to the third leg when the medals were decided. Well, it was a great third leg in the Jamaican team from Steffi Ann McPherson, which really shook up that second, third, fourth position. The United States, by the way, that's number six on the all-time list, that performance, 318.92. Poland, the national record, 321.89, and Jamaica, 322.37. Brave smiles from Great Britain, who had medalled at the last seven World Championships, two silver and five bronze, but unfortunately this time, someone had to be squeezed out in the big four, really, and it was Great Britain this time. Yeah, it was. I was really impressed with uh, the Polish squad here. We're just watching this changeover, second to third. McLaughlin ran well, didn't she? But Mohamed, I'd love to see what split that she got. And I'm just looking actually at the baton change there between James and McPherson. It wasn't the best, but when McPherson got that baton, she really extended her legs, didn't she? And used all the experience that she's got. This is coming down now to the third leg, ready for that last changeover. Polish squad are going really well there. And we can just see McPherson just passing Emily Diamond there. Her legs are really dead at this point and you're just really searching for the line. But all to play for on this leg. The United States were away, but this is when Jamaica really came into their own. Just extending, coming past the two athletes there from Poland and Great Britain. And the United States last leg runner, Jonathas. Well, she was just doing a victory lap, wasn't she? She had everything in control. Her teammates have set her up just to do this victory lap. And 3.18 is a great winning time. Really impressed though as well with Sweti Ursovic. She's done really well to pull away from the Jamaican there. So much guts when you're absolutely dying in a four by 400 meters, that last 100 meters. Great event to watch. Well, I absolutely love 400 meter hurdlers to come out and contribute on that four by four relay. They have so much strength. They're usually even overall more fit 
than a 400 meter runner. They're able to come back and always, whether it's at the end of a meet, whether they're competing in a second event, it's the end of the meet, or even come back the next day. So I think that is a, a great opportunity that the, the U.S. needs to continue to exploit. Sydney McLaughlin, she runs open 400s to start her season. This is the first time that I've really seen Delilah Muhammad run an open 400 meter race, but she looked absolutely fantastic. A little bit uh, surprising that we didn't see Allison Felix, but I guarantee you she was in the conversation and I'll bet you she was just uh, nice enough to step back and say, you know what, it's their race, it's their championships, let them win that gold. Yes, and we've come to expect nothing less because Alison Felix is a class act on and off the track and she's already got that all-important 12th gold when she took part in the mixed relay to move ahead of Usain Bolt with whom she was tied on 11 all-time gold medals. Now, we're still waiting for the presentation on the women's 4x4. Just to clarify for you, the Jamaicans at this stage are in fourth. The athlete has gone over the 200-metre line, so to the left of your picture, the outgoing runner should also be fourth in the line. But that was Stephanie Ann McPherson waiting to take the baton. The United States are still the champions, Poland the silver, Great Britain upgraded to third, the Canadians were also disqualified, so only six official finishers. And now for the final race of the 2019 IAAF World Athletics Championships, as it always is, the men's 4x4 brings the curtain down on a simply extraordinary 10 days of performances on the track and on the field. One last twist of drama. Great Britain, France, United States, Jamaica, Colombia, Belgium, Italy, and the defending champions, Trinidad and Tobago. One last time to shine before we bring the curtain down on this very long 2019 season. Jamaicans have a very good team. The United States in four have brought in three heavyweights with Curly, Cherry and Benjamin. Watch out for the Colombian last leg athlete. Anthony Jose Zambrano, he's been one of the stars of the one lap running. There he is, national record when he got the silver medal behind Stephen Gardner. Fred Curley got the bronze, he's the seventh fastest athlete in history. He goes lead leg for them. Let's take you through the lineups one by one. The lead leg runners. Poised and ready in this battle for the last available gold. You can sense the tension beginning to rise one final time. It's showtime here in the Khalifa International Stadium. The men's 4x400 metre relay. Please welcome in lane number nine. The On the outside, the defending champions. champions. Watch for Sedinio, who made the individual final on the anchor leg. In lane eight, the Italians have made a late swap. David Ray is their fastest athlete. He's gone from anchor to lead leg. He was very fast in qualification. In lane seven, we welcome Belgium. The Belgians have swapped their order. Both four-leg brothers on third and fourth legs. 
Kevin bringing them home, European silver medalist last year. In six, Colombia. A national record in qualification. There's no doubt the star of the Colombian show, Zambrano, Zambrano. the silver medalist on the anchor leg. The big news for the Jamaicans, Bloomfield goes lead. He made the final this year. Demish Gay on anchor leg instead of their relay specialist, Javon Francis. The seventh fastest man in history over the 400 flat goes lead leg. Ryan Benjamin, the joint third fastest 400 hurdler, goes anchor. What a team. United States in four. Second from the inside, Ludwig Vaillant, semi-finalist in the four hurdles. He's been brilliant this season. He'll have the job of setting the tone for the French. And, in lane number two, they're on bronze in and after the disqualification of Botswana, Great Britain in the final again. Three consecutive bronze medals. Harris comes in for Rooney. Lee Thompson now has the anchor leg duties for the British. The final of the men's 4x400 metre relay. Great Britain in two, France in three, USA four, Jamaica five, Colombia six, Belgium seven, Italy eight, Trinidad and Tobago in lane nine. As the crowd roar in anticipation, who is destined to have the last word on an extraordinary ten days in Doha? This is the final of the men's 4 by 400 meter relay. A long hold for our last act of drama. Watch for Curly. Third from the inside in lane four. He's the seventh fastest in history. David Ray should go well. Second from the outside, although Sakur is beginning to close on the Italian. Curly in the center of your picture. Hakeem Bloomfield's running well. The individual 400 finalist for Jamaica. And at the moment, the Belgians are going really well in lane seven. Now Cuvera starting to come back for Trinidad, but it's Curly handing over to his teammate Cherry. The United States in the lead from Jamaica and Belgium and Colombia. Not much difference in six teams there at that change, but we can see the United States now with Michael Cherry breaking first. Of course, all the athletes are in the first run the lane and then they break on that back straight and Cherry ran a brilliant leg yesterday in the heat and it looks like he's following in that now with this final Jamaica in second Nathan Allen and the Colombians are following really closely in third position followed by Belgium and Trinidad so coming up to the line now at the end of the second leg is United States Cherry followed by Jamaica with Allen Cherry to London United States lead the third leg for Jamaica is Terry Thomas. Now we have the two Borle brothers bringing Belgium right into the mix. And remember, the Colombians have their new star on the anchor leg, Zambrano. Running for them at the moment is Solis. What a run by Thomas, closing right down on Wilbert London, who got a World Junior Silver a couple of years ago. This isn't over yet in the battle for the gold. Dylan Borle running really strongly for Belgium at the moment. They have a gap over the Colombians in fourth. And don't forget the Trinidadians have Sardinio on the last leg. Terry Thomas has closed the gap on the Americans. It's London to Rye Benjamin. USA from Jamaica, from Belgium, from Colombia and Trinidad. It's going to be very, very tight for the bronze medal. Rye Benjamin, one of the fastest 400 hurdlers in history. He was disappointed after getting the silver in one of the great races of these championships. 
He's going to finish with a goal, do you suspect? Demis Kay is trying to track him down. Fantastic last leg at the moment by Kevin Borle for Belgium. But the last act of drama, the final gold, it's almost appropriate. They've dominated the medal table and the United States have the final say in Doha. Silver for Jamaica and a fantastic, fantastic bronze for Belgium. The Borle brothers deliver once again. They just have a habit of producing wonderful teams again and again and again. But when you've got the seventh fastest athlete in history on the four flat and the third fastest four hurdler, there's only one place you're going to finish unless you drop the baton. Number one, in control, never in doubt, the USA take the last title of the 2019 World Championships. Well, that had class wrote all over it. United States, there's only two teams ever ran faster than that. United States themselves and Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Well, we've seen a lot of these Star Spangled Banners in this championships. And these four by 400 metre races hurt. You can see a couple of Jamaican guys just really trying to get the breath. But what about this Belgium squad? They've brought it there for a number of years now, haven't they? I wasn't sure whether they'd hang on for that bronze medal, but Kevin Borley really showed his class, really showed all of his experience on that last lap. Well, what about this to underline the quality of our last race? Four teams coming home inside three minutes. A national record for the Colombians in fourth. The Belgians did brilliantly. Thought David Ray might shine for Italy, but he looked a little bit tired. Cherry to London. The British didn't finish, by the way. Disappointment for them on the second leg. London came under a little bit of pressure, I think, from Terry Thomas. But Rai Benjamin was never headed. No, as soon as he got that bat on, he was away, wasn't he? And he extended on. We've just seen what happened to the British team there. It's really difficult. All the athletes are placed in the order that they're in with 200 metres to go, and such disappointment there for Lee Thompson. But back to Rai Benjamin, he's had a fantastic championships, hasn't he? And he's come away here with a gold medal in the 4 by 400 metres, and the third quickest time ever. One thing that the athletes have discovered, and so have we over the last 10 days, we were wondering how fast this Mondo WS track is. The answer to that question is very, one of the fastest times ever seen in the women's 4x4 and one of the fastest times ever seen in the men's event. We have had an extraordinary number of top 10 performances over the last week and a bit. The USA so dominant from start to finish, the third fastest time in history. Jamaica the silver, Belgium a brilliant bronze courtesy of the Borle brothers. Colombia miss out on a medal, but they go home with a national record.